Coming up, Disney Cruise Line takes top honors in Condé Nast's recent survey, which is important if for no other reason than it shows that non-Disney fans aren't completely clueless. Also, ABC is making a TV show with tie-ins to Big Thunder Mountain. Their next project is rumored to be about child trafficking, a child trafficking ring based loosely on It's a Small World. And it's the end of an era with legendary Imagineer Tony Baxter announcing that he's leaving his post at Walt Disney Imagineering. No joke there. It's a sad day for Disney fans. All that plus Roundtable Rapid Fire and the top 10 threads for January on Disboards.com coming up next in our first ever live broadcast. This is the Diz Unplugged, episode 568, for the week of February 5th, 2013. The Diz Unplugged is sponsored by Dreams Unlimited Travel. The best reason to support Dreams Unlimited Travel is that John Magi and I are both owners. And unless you want to see John go back to showing leg and panhandling on Orange Blossom Trail, go book a nice package or a nice cruise. Just go to www.dreamsunlimitedtravel.com and help keep John off the streets. Otherwise, just stay off Orange Blossom Trail because John showing leg isn't pretty. <laughs> Thought maybe you'd appreciate that. Boy, we put Were OBT you on the it map. Happened one we? night <laughs> when we first moved down here. That's how we had a. That's how we had a do Christmas one year. Um, well, hello and welcome to the show, everybody. Coming to you live from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined at the table this week by my good friends John Magi, Kevin Close, Teresa Eccles, and Corey Martin. And back behind the controls, Dustin West, along with Sean Thompson, and Craig Williams. It's good we started with a high water mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, in addition to our new show this week, Tom Bell is going to be joining us live from Disneyland in a little while. And I believe uh, he's going to be like standing on a trash can trying to get a view over the walls of... Uh, Fantasy Fair? I thought he was going to be yeah, apparently. trash can just trying to get a view of something. <laughs> <laughs> Boost him up. He can't see over the he's crowd. A, he's, he's small but mighty. All right. Small but mighty. Um, we also have a segment uh, on our Seven Resorts in Seven Nights series, which just wrapped up yesterday on our blog. I was really happy with yeah. how that went up. That looks so great. That was really that was really a lot of fun to do. And it was a great job by everybody, Sean, Dustin, Corey. Um, getting all that stuff together. And uh, by popular demand, we're going to do another ladies only show. And uh, But that actually is going to get recorded tomorrow and will be our next live show. Yeah. We're going to put that up live tomorrow, <laughs> which I just kind of sprung on these guys <laughs> like now. I'm yeah. sure Julie's um, listening right now and finding out for the first time. She's going and she's live. like, and she's just there's like a, a dust trail <laughs> going back to the bedroom. Like, what am I going to wear? Um, and that's going to go uh, tomorrow, February 6th. We'll go out live at 1 p.m. Eastern on disunplugged.com. After that, it will be added to the iTunes feed. So if you don't get a chance to watch, you can download and listen. Or you can go to disunplugged.com and watch it on demand anytime you want. So with that, let's get into housekeeping. The first thing that I would like to uh, do for housekeeping is to... Uh, kind of recognize the man that we named this studio after Bob Varley. Uh, this from, I, I swear to God from like the first time he met me, he, he talked about doing something like this. This is what he wanted to do in the worst way. Um, but for those of you, I, some of you may have seen this, um, forgive me for the people listening. This is more for the edification right now of the people watching. I'm just going to play a quick video clip of the cable access show that Bob did when he lived in Massachusetts before he moved down here. He did this with his son, Matt, uh, The World of Mickey. And uh, this is actually, if you go to the disunplug.com, down at the bottom of the page, uh, you'll see in memory of Bob Varley, you click on that. There's going to be a, there's a link to this video in that. It's been, been up since he passed. So uh, I just want to go ahead, switch to my screen, and we'll uh, play a little bit of that. 915. And uh, this week here, we did something different uh, on the show. If you notice, we didn't set up the monorail up on, on, the, on the table here. What I wanted to do is, is take it and uh, it's, it's down below here. And one of the cameras will 
zoom it, zoom out or do something with it and we'll get an idea of what it looks like when it's all set up so you can see the actual size of it set that, up. That of course is the monorail that we're giving away as part yes. of our trivia That's gonna contest. Be, yes, and uh, if you get two questions, two of our trivia questions right, uh, you become eligible for the, the grand drawing of it and uh, it's a neat little set. I mean, you, it fits around our Christmas tree, and uh, they're showing Just it right barely. now. And it's a, it makes a complete circle. That it doesn't need and it says, uh, "Welcome to Walt Disney World," and it's uh, it's pretty neat. Now. Well, I just, I, like I said, I just wanted to make sure we played a little, a little clip of that and encourage everybody to head out disunplugged.com, which is where the show notes will be. We'll put a direct link to it in the show notes as well. But uh, I love the clicking noise. What are they filming on? One of those Charlie Chaplin? That's kind of is there something as an eight millimeter? What is this? It's like, what the heck was that noise? Well, you know, look, it was um, the original tape was. I don't know. Is this? I think it was. Well, I think I got. I originally got it on VHS. Daguerreotype. And then you, you know, we 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 had a cash. So you know, it's it, that that's I. I'm gonna guess that's probably 1995. Um, that he did that, 1995, 1996, or in that in that time frame. So, 18 so years ago, you wow. know, it's been a it's been a while. But uh, okay, it's not know. from the silent movies era. Let's not all go. Ooh, <laughs> 18 years. Ago. Well, I'll tell you though something. It's one actually we were, one of those flip books. <laughs> we were going through. Um, you know, I, I found a bunch of old uh, tapes that that we've used over the years, and we would do video. Now that we you know we do everything tapeless, but uh, I found. All the tapes from the Around the World tour that we did wow. in 2000, um, and it was pretty. Some of the stuff, like I was getting a good laugh. There was some funny stuff in there. For those people listening that don't know what I'm talking about, back in 2000, right after we launched Dreams, a few months months after we launched Dreams, we approached Disney with the idea of doing something called an Around the World tour. We were going to spend at least one night in every resort on Disney property and do the seven night cruise, which had just launched at that point. And we were going to do blogs and well, they weren't called blogs then, but like, you know, updates every day. And we got all these interviews with all these uh, different Disney executives. And we got, you know, video of all the hotels and the rooms. And even that, I mean, just taking a look at how some of the rooms have changed. So that's what I'm talking when I talk about the around the world tour, that was like the first really big thing we ever did. And, uh, Our seven and seven is a mini version of that. A very, very mini version. So I think we need to do the because seven nights and one cruise segment too. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You keep <laughs> you keep pushing for that. Uh, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, and I mean, but it also damn near killed us. It was very very busy doing that. It was but it was a lot of fun, and it was you know it was really cool. So talking about just old tapes, and I realize no, it's not from the silent era, but <laughs> in the digital age, going back thirteen years is. That Might was well, well done, be. BK. Before Kevin. Before Kevin. Or Burger King. <laughs> um, the other thing I want to announce this week, the other new thing that we're going to be doing, which was Corey's idea, and I absolutely love it because it's brilliant in its simplicity. We are calling Disney Park Bench. And basically what it is is we're finding a nice spot to sit, somewhere in Walt Disney World, setting up a camera, turning it on for five minutes, and putting it up on the internet. So if you want to just take a five-minute break and sit in Epcot or the Magic Kingdom or one of the resorts, we have, we're going to be doing them all over the place. Real simple, just nice, five-minute. Relaxing. Relaxing. And uh, for those people who are watching the live broadcast in between the news show and our segments, we're going to be playing a few of these. That's kind of how we're going to do the countdown. There'll be a 15-minute break in between each, each segment. And we're going to run uh, our, park, our Disney Park Bench videos. These are going to be going up on our YouTube page. And we'll have links to that in the show notes, desunplug.com. Do you think anybody I will stop you like that, think you're that movie guy? I hope movie. not. That would be great. I like someone came up and tried to stop you. <laughs> that would be great. I think that would be cool. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like we're setting up lights and microphones or anything. We're just taking a little tiny tripod, like literally like a little tiny tripod, and 
putting a camera on it, sticking it next to us on a bench. You know, a lot of people like to go to Disney and just sit on a bench and people watch. And for people that are at work, would like to imagine that they are any place else but at work. They can just sit and sit on Main Street, sit in Tomorrowland, sit in Fantasyland, wherever they want. Yeah. The managers at these businesses are going to be thrilled that you're doing this. Well, so I'll have to do the welcome. The center. managers at because the, people, at the work. The, our managers at businesses usually don't want you sitting and watching Disney videos while you're working. Just oh, have okay, several oh, okay. tabs. Okay. Yeah. Really. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you have to be creative with how you watch it at work, but. Um, if you can't watch it at work, you can watch it at home. They're on the YouTube channel. You can hide it with porn. <laughs> or solitaire. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Um, also, we would like your emails and your voicemails uh, for an upcoming segment we're going to do, The Strangest Thing You've Ever Seen at Walt Disney World. And uh, we're going to be doing that in our February 19th show. And you can. Uh, we also need emails and voicemails telling us how you deal with rude people. At Walt Disney World. That's also for an upcoming segment. PG people. Yeah, keep it PG. Uh, voicemails, toll free, 1 877 310 9662. Or you can send an email to podcast at disunplugged.com. And usual rules apply. If we read your email or play your voicemail on the show, you'll get your choice of your very own Dis Unplugged t shirt or a Dis Unplugged pin and lanyard. I don't think we have pins anymore. I have one at my house. I have. I actually, <laughs> when we were cleaning out to do this, I found like a big bag of them. Okay, that's why I'm so hoarding the pins. Right. That's, I'm not hoarding them. They were, you know, I also have a ton of t shirts back there. Um, the, the stuff that was found, uh, for those people watching, um, it, let's switch to Kevin's shot for a second. Um, you'll notice uh, over Kevin's shoulder, there's like a, a closet. Well, there were doors in that closet. And then Dustin switched to your shot. Just Kevin moment, broke them please. on his way out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and out and of that it. area behind Sean and, and Dustin was yeah. also a closet that were filled, I mean, to the top. Oh. I mean, it was ridiculous. <laughs> it's crazy. With stuff that, you know, we've gotten over the years, not like from our listeners per se, but just like, you know, the T-shirts yeah. and stuff and pins and stuff we go to events and we get. And, you know, I throw it in the closet just to like clear the room up and then... You know, I didn't want the doors on the closets. I wanted to take them off because I thought it looked better. And uh, I'm like, oh, my God, what am I going to do with all this stuff? So if you go into my guest bedroom right now, um, it looks like these closets all threw up in the guest bedroom. Dustin, switch to his bedroom now. Yeah, really. Switch, <laughs> switch to the guest bedroom. <laughs> oh, that's his unplugged <laughs> cribs. <laughs> Oh, really? the cameras Open throughout his fridge. the house. Yeah, cameras throughout the house. That's that magic yeah. happens. Look, there's enough, there's enough cameras in here. That's, that's <sighs> a, the camera's... Cameras? Extend no further than that door. You can't do this at our house. We don't have electricity. You don't have electricity? Not not for cameras, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and that's all I have for housekeeping. Does anybody else have any housekeeping? No. 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 Seriously? Yeah. All right. I'm down to the last two seats for Germany. Two or four. I can do two people or four people. Otherwise, this trip is now going to be sold out very quickly. Wow. So. Dates on that are... September 20th through the 28th. All right. Of this year. Awesome. All right. Well, if there's no other housekeeping, we'll switch it over to Johnny with the news. All right. Our first news story. Tony Baxter steps down from Imagineering Post. Tony Baxter, 66, is stepping down from overseeing Disneyland attractions after 47 years with the Walt Disney Company. Mm. Mr. Baxter began his career by scooping ice cream at Disneyland in 1965 as a college job and rose up to spearhead the creation of some of the park's biggest rides, including Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Star Tours. Baxter, who lives in Anaheim Hills, announced Friday that he was leaving his job as Senior Vice President of Creative Development for Walt Disney World Engineering. Imagineering. Baxter will stay on as a part-time mentor and consultant for Imagineering. He made the announcement on his 66th birthday. Happy Uh, birthday to me. I quit. (laughs) uh, He's quoted as saying, it has been a wondrous 47 years. The Imagineers I have known and shared these times with have provided invaluable experiences not to be found anywhere else on earth. The future of Imagineering in Disney parks is incredibly bright. Um, The rest of the story goes on to his background and what he's done, but I think... uh, well, the I section mean, I wanted to just, yeah. just tell people is that Baxter led the creation of some of Disneyland's major rides, including Splash Mountain, 
Indiana Jones Adventure and Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. Abroad, Baxter oversaw the development of Disneyland Paris. He also worked on the creation of Walt Disney World. So while for some people, I don't know if this name is, you know, something that you know from books or you know other Disney stuff, I think you can see he's had a hand in quite a bit. If you ever watch any of the extras on any of the videos they put out, Tony Baxter is always in those extras. When they put out the new video of Beauty and the Beast, he's there in the extras telling you about the parks and things like that. And uh, I have to tell you, I, I actually had the chance to meet him once. Uh, it was the last day of one of our trips out in Disneyland. We were sitting in, you know, in, uh, uh, was it Naples, the Italian restaurant that's in downtown Disney? Right. They have that, that uh, patio area. And we're sitting, I think, who was with it? I think Kathy was there and I think Walter. I was there. Um, yeah. And I'm looking over and I see, I mean, he's sitting there, you know, having lunch with somebody. I'm like, oh my God. I got starstruck. I really did. And uh, I, I didn't want to like just like, go up and interrupt his, his lunch. So I waited when they were done. He went to get up and I just walked over and, you know, shook his hand and, you know, said, nice to meet you and got a picture with him. And That's how we, that happened to us with Joe Rody at Chico. I mean, I was oh, really? Up. John yeah. Lasseter, too. It just. I wasn't so polite. Excuse me, put your stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> Sign this for me. Can um, I touch your earring? I just, I, I, I will never forget, I, I, I know somebody who went to high school with Joe Rohde. He used to wear a cape to high school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, you didn't get beat up too much, did you? But, uh, yeah, I mean, just uh, legendary. I mean, you, the things he's worked on, and, and if you've been to any Disney park, Disneyland, Disney World, Disneyland Paris, been to any of those parks, you've enjoyed his work and i mean what a what a career what a career and i'm sad he's leaving but i mean you know look there are a lot of really talented imagineers working i'm just i was kind of surprised by the announcement it was all very strange there was this uh first there was this denial that it was a real announcement and then there was speculation that he wasn't feeling well and it might be health related so I, I don't know not. why. It was, I hope not. No, I don't think it is. Meg Crofton is taking his place. Oh, she's going to take over Imagineering. Mm-hmm. No, the villagers will storm the castle. <laughs> Paint everything gray. <laughs> you are a troublemaker. I know. On our first live show, I know how to wind him up. Go ahead, <laughs> poking the bear. All right, our next story: Disney Cruise Line ships take top honors in Condé Nast Traveler 2013 Reader's Poll. All four ships in the Disney Cruise Line fleet were recognized among the top large cruise ships in the world in the Condé Nast Traveler 2013 Reader's Poll. The Disney Magic ranked number one, uh, Disney Wonder and the Disney Dream close behind at two and three, and the Disney Fantasy, which debuted less than one year ago, ranked number eight. Last year, the Disney Magic ranked number one, the Wonder number three, and the Dream number four. The Disney Fantasy was not out at that time. More than 46,000 participating Condé Nast Traveler readers rated 376 ships on a 100-point on a scale. Each ship was evaluated on seven criteria. Activities slash facilities, cabins, crew slash service, design slash layout, food slash dining, itinerary slash schedule, and shore <laughs> excursions. Um and Disney Cruise Line was also recently recognized by the readers of Condé Nast Traveler magazine as the number one uh, in large ship category and named Disney Cruise Line number one cruise line for families in the fourth consecutive And they year. also uh, earned a number one Disney Cruise and number one Disney Attraction because it's like they, they, they get so specific about like the awards. <laughs> it's the number one large cruise ship among people 18 to 35 <laughs> Who live in Pennsylvania. And are well, right-handed. <laughs> this is the over. I mean, these are the overall categories. So, I mean, I think that's pretty impressive. What I find funny is that it's one, in two, one, two, and three, and then the fantasy is like four or something. No, the fantasy was like number eight. Oh, the fantasy is eight. So, it's like, why would the dream <laughs> be so much better than the fantasy? I think only because... Uh, Not enough people experience well, I, it. Right, because it just, it's, you know... Just it's a year and they old like in the March. magic better than the dr- the dream. Th- I find that surprising too. I mean, I love the magic, but it's just surprising that it's the classic ship, right? The bigger yeah. ship you would think would get more attention. Um, you know, Celebrity Eclipse was on here. A couple of celebrity ships. Queen Mary two was number six. The Queen um, Mary or the Queen Elizabeth? Queen Mary two. Is there a queen? I didn't realize there was a Queen Mary two. 
Well, shows what I know. Um, Which one is docked in California? That's the Queen Mary. Okay. Right? Yeah, the Queen Mary 2 is the new It's the new one. That's actually sailing. And with passengers. Oasis of the Seas, <laughs> ranked number nine. Goes to cargo <laughs> ships. <laughs> Queen Ma- Poor Queen Mary's tied to a dock out in San Diego. <laughs> okay, we'll stop. Go ahead. They serve meals on her. <clears throat> so I think this is this is pretty impressive for Disney. I mean, there's a lot of ships out well, there. Well, they win a lot of awards. I mean, Travel and Leisure, I think four years running now, uh, Travel and Leisure, uh, named them Best Cruise Line, or Best Cruise Line for Families. Right. Um, and... Uh, you know, uh, it's but it's worth it, it. It's it's well deserved. Even without families, we have a lot of our friends who don't have kids, and they ask us, "Should we do a Disney cruise? Should we do Royal Caribbean?" But that's a tougher sell. It's a tougher comparing sell comparing to Royal. You know, Disney fans know that. You know, if you're just a couple without kids, that you have a great time on on those ships. But um, when you're talking to people who like, you know, just aren't aren't big Disney fans or whatever, the minute you say Disney Cruise, or oh, too many kids, too many kids, yeah. you know what? Go on a Norwegian cruise and see how many kids. When we did, when Walter and I and Mom and my brother Kevin did that Alaska cruise last August, and we are on that Norwegian ship, and it was loaded with kids, but they have like a crappy kids program, so they were running everywhere all over the place. Um, you start to appreciate, you know, all cruise ships are going to have kids on them. Okay, maybe not... Uh, Holland America, which is that, that tends to skew a lot older, but Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, any of those, they're going to have a lot of kids on them. And where Norwegian is concerned, kids clubs aren't as good. I have to say, Royal Caribbean, especially on their bigger ships, they really give Disney a run for the money with those kids clubs. I mean, the the kids club on the Oasis yeah, was the just Oasis is incredible, unbelievable. I mean, it's the whole back of the ship on one is. of the floors. It's it really is, and it's so I I, I I won't I won't say that about Royal Caribbean, but I just remember our experience on Norwegian. But it's a tough sell. It's a tough sell to people who aren't Disney fans, which is why, like I said, when I see something like Condé Nast readers giving Disney props, I don't think that's you know an overwhelming number of Disney fans. I think those are cruise enthusiasts who have tried you know Disney ships in comparison with other high end cruise lines and they're they, luxurious there's no doubt they rate the ships well and i also think conde nest readers are well traveled a little bit more yeah sassy. they're very sad people who are a little bit more high-end a little bit more well traveled so they've experienced different cruise lines to make that comparison. exactly exactly so i think that i think actually that designation from conde nest readers uh actually is i don't think it means more than you know what disney fans think but i think that is just additional validation for the quality of the line. I have to tell you something. There's a weird dynamic going on here. It is a little weird. There are people who are tweeting live, and somebody has already posted that they're, they're covering our live show with their porn at work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's, that's weird. It is weird. It's a usually, very weird dynamic. Usually there's a 24 to 48 hour delay between what we say here and what shows up on Facebook. <laughs> know, right? <laughs> this is on Twitter. How many people are in the chat room? Well, 395 people are watching. And the chat is moving so quickly, it's hard to keep up. You're being well, compared to Leo Laporta, by the way. Oh, God, no. No, 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 really. I'm not Leo. I think it's more Leona Helmsley. But that's Leona Helmsley, yeah. I think that's probably closer. <laughs> Again, there's people in the room who have no idea what that uh, means. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's uh, show of hands. Who knows Leona Helmsley? Oh, Corey. Uh, well, the, of the, course, the, I the know. One, the, the, yeah, the young gay knows Leona Helmsley. <laughs> Thank you. He um, was her for Halloween. <laughs> Uh, when Julie watches all these award shows, these uh, movie award shows, I'm the worst person. Well, to your wife with. is a gay man trapped in a woman's body, so she yeah, knows that's them the all. Way we should play she that. knows if they have if they're having kids, if they're going to have kids, or who they're married to, who they're divorced to, all everything, every single movie they were in. Yeah, well, <laughs> as as well, you should know that too. Yeah, <laughs> these are the important things. These in are life. important. <laughs> Oscars coming up. Should I should make Corey come over here for an Oscar party. Oh, Stop Lord. paying attention to your children and watch TV. <laughs> As all Americans are doing. <laughs> the Grammys are coming up this weekend. The Grammys. So exciting. Okay. Everybody's we we've gone completely it. off track. Yep. So. We're going to look for Rihanna's That's bruises. That happens. It's not my fault. Just Stop it. Channel. Stop it. <laughs> what are you gonna look for? We're going to look for Rihanna's bruises. <laughs> That's uh, awful. Oh, Rihanna. <laughs> Live. No edit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, they're worried about me. And who's the first one? Who's the first one? I didn't curse. I was talking about the Fleetwood Mac song. 
Rihanna's bruises. Rihanna's bruises. <laughs> Stevie Nicks is going to sing that live. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's. This is going downhill fast. Let's go. All right, and our final news story: new TV show and film to have Disney theme park tie-ins. Fans of the Disney theme parks will soon be getting a taste of the parks in their everyday lives. ABC just ordered a pilot for a new show called Big Thunder, inspired by the theme park runaway mine trade ride. The plot summary says, quote, when a brilliant late 19th century New York doctor and his family are given a once in a lifetime opportunity to relocate to a frontier mining town run by a powerful but mysterious tycoon, they quickly realize that not everything in Big Thunder is as it seems. First of all, whoever wrote that sentence? <laughs> it's Dr. Quinn Medicine Coaster. Grammar lesson. <laughs> what did you say? It's Dr. Quinn Medicine Coaster. <laughs> Is this real? You are so judgmental. It hasn't. Yes, come it's out real. Yet. This is. This you know is not like your Saturday Night Live here's news. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the problem. CBS is kicking everyone's behind. They are. With their primetime lineup, that these guys are just like literally like, okay, we'll try that. Like, I mean, this, this sounds. This sounds like. No, look, it may end up being a good show. The premise sounds like the worst idea imaginable. Okay, okay so wait. Words under that. our Dr. name. Dr. Quinn. So Dr. Wait. Quinn Medicine Coaster is perfect. I want so, judgmental under my screen. So <laughs> In your lower third. So Dustin, guy, I want that for next week. I want judgmental. The judgmental. guy is going to... He's a doctor from 19th century New York. He's a brilliant doctor. Brilliant doctor. And he goes out west and meets... Bob Iger on the what did you say about a, a he will, brilliant a man millionaire? who has a mind train that he's turning into a roller coaster. <clears throat> he's going to him and his family are given a once in a lifetime opportunity to relocate to a frontier mining town run by a powerful but mysterious tycoon. Nothing about Bob Iger. Oh, I thought that was the mysterious. Nothing about <laughs> Michael Eisner. Nothing about Donald Why Trump. Why is it a once in a lifetime experience though? I guess for him, it was an important day for him when he got a chance to do this. I don't know. What? It's a I was gonna say, episode show. Yeah, it's not going to make it past the pilot. <laughs> well, here's the deal, though. Who's Disney? in it? Who's, that, could make, that could make a break. Who's Jane starring? Seymour. They haven't said yet. It's not Jane Seymour. Marky Post. <laughs> if it's somebody good, that could really, you know. Well, Disney has had a success with these tie-ins of theme park rides. and Haunted movies. Mansion. It's yeah, that was, was great. Gonna say haunted mansion. Let's, well, let's, I like the haunted as let's, much as as much success as, has to be in air quotes. As much as we all didn't like that, it was I a hit overseas. Mansion. It was a, a oh, they'll watch anything. <laughs> so oh, was David click, Hasselhoff. I love, click, I, click, I, click, it really. <laughs> well, what's no, the, honest to God, though, honest to God. How many people are in the chat room now? So many, so many people. So many the stuff that that goes on television here that bombs, and then we send it overseas, and it does great. <laughs> we steal a lot of their stuff too, though. Yeah, we steal their good stuff. They steal our crap. <laughs> I just so, I can't see this working. I don't know. We're sorry. Is his whole family going with him, or is he leaving his family behind? <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, I have not seen it yet. What's okay. their interior so now, now people get to now people get to watch my face as these comments get made. Well, I'm just trying to wrap my brain around this. Are they happy? Are they sad? Well, I'm sure they're happy. The runaway mind train. The doctor on board. Uh, and one of the things that this story also says is, you know how they're fixing, or not fixing, they're enhancing the queues at Walt Disney World. Part of what they're doing at Big Thunder Mountain is they're putting in this storyline. So the storyline of the oh. ride is going to match the show. So there's the Well, they might want to wait to see if the show is actually any good before oh. they start doing it. We might have more people in our chat room than they have viewers. <laughs> oh, 407 now. Big, oh, all of Europe is tuning in to see if we're going <laughs> to upset them. What do they say further. about David Hasselhoff? <laughs> Big Thunder is being written by Jason Fuchs, who Ooh. did Ice oh. Age, Continental nice, Drift. Nice, pro- nice pronunciation. Well, I didn't want to do it the other way. And executive producer Chris Morgan, who did The Troop. The troop. The troop. Yeah, which set the world on fire, apparently. The troop. <laughs> the other theme park tie in comes in the form of a sci fi alien film from Walt Disney Studios. Tomorrowland is slated for a 2014 Oh, no, really? Race. You are making this. Well, this crap was that, big, up. that thing that went out. So I wasn't 19... too far off in the opening when I said they're going to do a, ch- a story about a child trafficking ring based loosely on It's a Small World. <laughs> God, that's so the wrong. kids in the show, their eyes will click, 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 click. <laughs> this was a big thing that went out, a tweet. It was all big secret. They show, Somebody tweeted a picture of a suitcase with old pictures of Walt Disney. Oh, I saw and that. And an old camera. And it said 1952. 
and that's all it said. And there's been a great deal of speculation. People have started adding the numbers together. <laughs> um, apparently, this is going to be a movie with George Clooney. Well, Ooh, film boasts some okay, big that names. Could save it. David Lindelof, who did Star Trek and Lost, Brad Bird, who did The Incredibles, Mission Impossible, yeah. are set to write the script. All right. While George Clooney has signed on to star. And this is for the Tomorrowland thing. For Tomorrowland. And okay, you get okay. See now with Damon Lindelof and George Bra- Clooney and Brad Bird. But that's a movie, Bird. not a TV show, right? Correct. Okay. And that okay that that's got some that's got some some weight. That's got some weight. Yeah. Again, I mean, I know. Haunted Mansion wasn't a big hit. However, Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, it was, was just you know, it was like yeah. one of the final nails in Eddie Murphy's professional coffin. Um. <laughs> Everyone needs a professional coffin. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. I mean, no. you know. I so. am so surprised you would laugh at another person's pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally shocked. Usually, making other people happy makes my day, but so does watching them trip and fall. <laughs> Oh, I stole that from somebody on Twitter. I apologize. I'll give you credit when I figure out who you are. <laughs> okay. All right. It's, we... all, it's all about how they execute it. It is, ultimately. Kevin sure. and I love the show Once Upon a Time on ABC. Have you seen it? Once, I still haven't, no, but I watched it. Sean hates it. It's, it's a modern take on the fairy tale characters, and they're placed in a modern day oh, setting. Oh, Kelvin watches that. I don't watch and the that. thing is, is that it's not because it's the fairy tale characters. It's well written, well acted. It has some really great villains in it, too. Right. Yeah. So it's all about the substance of right. the thing. Right. True. True. It's how it's written, it's how it's acted, always. Right. Absolutely. So did they say if this Mind Train show thingy is going to be a comedy, or is it a s- drama? Oh, she can't get off this. <sighs> Yeah, really. Okay, really. We need to move on. Okay. I don't think they've made it yet. Okay. I'm it's just okay. We'll figure it out. We'll let you know when it's on. You can okay. watch. Okay. I will watch. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. All yeah. right. That's it for the news. Oh, thank Jesus. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> We've been here since 8 a.m. <laughs> Diz Unplug, sponsored by Xanax. Um, all right. We're going to move on to Rapid Fire. Who would like to go? I will. Kevin. <gasps> wow. Uh, there's a couple of table e- in Wonderland events coming up. One is at the Wave. Don't go to that one. Oh, God, no. But the other one is, we did this last year. It is the Design and Display Warehouse, February 22nd and February 23rd. Tickets are $115 per person. This is, I would imagine, if it's not sold out, because this information uh, is February there. 7th, I think it starts. They, they open up reservations on the 7th oh, I'm sorry, at 10 a.m. Let me check. Yes, February 7th. I would be one of the first people on the phone. Um, we uh, loved this. We're going awesome. to do the downtown Disney food. Or, I'm sorry, downtown Orlando food festival is February 22nd and 23rd. And John and I have decided to do that. I imagine it's like Disney's food festival. There's the one at downtown Orlando? Yes. Lake Eola? We did that last year. We're it's a great do- day. We're going to do that this year. But if you haven't been to this, I can't recommend it highly enough. It was great last year. The menu is going to be Circus Popcorn Action Station, which is popcorn with chowder, grilled chicken, white cheddar, and roasted red pepper. I'm not going to read you anything. I'll just read you the titles. Gourmet salted freeze-dried popcorn and seafood ceviche. Then there's going to be a Tron. On a chilled- dusty soccer field. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go there. I can't take the hate. Do you want this to be our first and last live show? Is that what you're trying to do? Grand opening, I still grand have closing. the hate meal from the last time. <laughs> Tron Chilled Action Station. Uh, the Little Mermaid Action Station. <laughs> What's an action station? You've what never seen that? Use your imagination. The little mermaid They're going to eat the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Good versus Evil Action Station. And a Sushi. Star Wars Dessert Station with Wookiees. Princess Leia Wookie. panna Wookies. It's a Wookie. It's Wookie. Wookie Mickey cinnamon roll cookies. Princess Leia panna cotta. <laughs> <laughs> right here. This is what they spent all that money so they could start naming food after the characters. Cut to Princess, me, Justin. Princess Leia panna It's right there, I swear. Princess Why wouldn't Leia they do Princess Leia cinnamon buns? Why? Because the Wookie, it's sense. a Wookie cinnamon bun. They're fuzzy. Wait, Yoda's Princess green Leia pistachio panna. cupcake. <laughs> A Death Star Salted Caramel Crunch <laughs> and Darth Vader Dark Chocolate Indulgence. I, I, oh my I, 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 let me, we, we I all did this. Father. We all did this last year. 
the food is much better than the descriptions. Right. Yeah, but last year they had a steampunk section too, so they're creative. They're nothing. very, very creative. And it's really cool because you, you're surrounded by a lot of props that they use for special events in the parks. And there was a 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea sub there. And One of the things that amazed me was they had the, the small set that Tim Burton built to pitch Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Oh, that so you could cool. see the the actual city where it was filmed, all the different locations, and this was what he used to pitch the movie. This is the That's department cool. that when you go and you say, I'm going to have a big event, I'm going to have a party at Disney, you go to them and they do the theme for you. Right. And they have all this stuff stored that they can just go and tap and maybe even repurpose. If you've ever been to a so, Disney event, they're the ones who set up all of the displays. Right. Cool. And they let you like kind of walk up and down the aisles and check oh, out wow. like all the different stuff they have on the show. It's they really have guides cool. that would tell and you what you were looking at. It's February 22nd and 23rd, and it's $115 you wanna, a ticket. You want to go? Oh, I do. Okay, if I can get tickets. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be I'm gonna be. And like, I'll be able to eat all them funky foods, huh? You will. No, no, I'll let you go, but you can't eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. I also say this, I'm speculation, but the last time they gave us a nice little present at the end, I'm assuming that yeah, was nice. Present. Yeah, that's right. You're going to have a medley of good greens and vegetables with evil Bloody Mary vinaigrette. Evil? <laughs> They're very creative. They, and they do a really good it's job. It's a Star Wars theme, you said? No, it's no. all it's all sorts of the little okay. mermaid section. Oh, okay. I was the little mermaid story. sushi bar. Little mermaid <laughs> sushi flounder, bar. Flounder cake. I'd like some of the tail. Darth Vader's arm. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's it. Oh, and the one at the wave, I should probably tell you if you are interested. Don't go, don't go, don't really, go. <laughs> we don't waste your time. It's the wave. It wave goodbye is as you're February leaving. 21st. Tickets are $110 per person, and you're going to get tomato water shooters with organic cucumber vodka and basil caviar. Uh, there's a bunch of different stuff. Tomato water. But it's at the wave. <laughs> Take it to the bottom Go to of the, the design dish. and display. Also, one of the cool things was you got to sit there and talk to the people who were the artists who helped build the design oh, and display. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's and you cool. got to go through their offices and see yeah, where they were. Yeah, it's really cool. And their office is like amazing. The They're way all they've... allowed to um, decorate design their offices. Yeah, customize. and they oh, decorate cool. them like crazy. How long does this event last? How many it's, hours? It's um, 6.30 to... If you're going to ask questions, you're supposed to ask in advance. I would like these in triplicate, please, on my desk the day before the podcast. 6.30 to 9 p.m. Now, and the wow. gratuity is included. One of the things they did last year was they showed a little video of what their department does. And you go and you sit in a room that's themed after Alice in Wonderland. Oh, wow. Someone in this room. Oh, for reservations, visit chair. Disney URL. Really? Are you looking at me? No, oh, I remember I broke the chair. I did. I wouldn't go in the little dark room because I was there was only one way in and one way out. I sat down and down the came rabbit off hole. Of my hand. Here is the website. It's di- uh, www.disneyurl.com backslash T I W the warehouse. The warehouse. The warehouse. Cool. Can't wait. I'm hoping I get tickets. I'm you gotta act fast. I know. You gotta do it when they open. Yep. Act fast now. Yeah, I think they have a hundred, a uh, hundred slots for the first night and a hundred for the second. Unless oh. they're and down there. both nights were sold out. There were like people instantly, tr- there were people trying to get in. Let's and trying to get in. When you find out where this is, you're going to be absolutely shocked. It's like oh yeah, it's like nowhere, it, no, right? it, it's like in a, an industrial park. It's near um, Florida Mall. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Oh, okay. It, like you're driving up to it, like okay, I, I'm going to get killed here. But then you know, there it is. It was cool. It's though. nondescript. Aside from the Disney cast members out front with their, you know, airplane landing yeah. flashlights. Oh, that sounds cool. Great. Thank you, Kevin. Teresa. Oh, me? Um, all right. Limited Time Magic for the month of February. One of the things they're doing at the Magic Kingdom, February 11th through the 17th. It's Valentine's at Disney. The park will be decorated with... Don't do it, Pete. Ooh, give it to me. 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 That makes me want to dance. I don't know what it makes me want to do. Throw up a little. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going um, there. The park will be de- decorated with hearts and true love banners, and Cinderella Castle will be blush pink and red. Are you lighting. crying? I'm not crying. Why does her voice change when she does this? Because this is the way I read. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You want me to scream it out like I'm screaming okay, at my children? Okay. I, I, I had to spend real money on a piece of equipment so that when you talk like that and it goes out live, because normally when we just record the show and put yeah. it up, we run it through a process in post-production that we can't do live. So we had to buy a piece of equipment to do it so we could raise your voice so people could hear you. You've auto-tuned her? 
and we've done it for you too because you scream into the microphone. So we had to bring you <gasps> down. Bob, I would like to sound like Darth Vader too. if I could. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, Dustin will get right on. Will it make me sound good if I start like singing? No. Okay, what, what we're going to happen here is a prince and princesses pair out for meets and greets around the park. Mickey and Minnie will be in Town Square Theater. Aurora and Philip and Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. Mary Poppins and Bert were in Fantasyland. Prince Naveen and Princess Tiana will be in Liberty Square, Enchanted Glade. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of other cool stuff. Really cool Valentine stuff. I have a second rapid fire, too. More timely, refillable mugs. Price is going up to fifteen forty nine. Where's that going to end? People Saint, still buying them. As long as people buy them, they'll keep raising the price on them. Does anybody else think this limited time magic thing is sort of like ho hum? What is it? Limited Does time limited magic. Time? Now see, look. Oh, look at the little piggies. Now that was cute when all the little different characters were in the park. Did you point at me and say, "Look at the little piggies"? <laughs> <laughs> little screen behind you oh. just because it's live so you mean bought you something to that. bring my voice down well uh, <laughs> no what it does is it kind of levels everybody so if somebody's talking really soft it brings it up if somebody's talking too loud it brings it down because there's no way for uh, no other way for us to modulate it when it's going out loud so we're gonna sound like so everybody else it oh my lord heaven <laughs> will it make me look thinner to me to me to me <laughs> <laughs> to me um no it modulates your voice it doesn't change how your voice sounds it's just if you're talking like this it bumps like it that. up yes you do yes you do i don't you yes, go from you being do. Teresa to marilyn singing for the president exactly <laughs> and then kevin every now and again gets excited and he screams into the microphone and we're trying to spare the people <laughs> listening from like having their speakers blown out or having to well because what will happen they have to turn the volume all the way up to hear Teresa and then Kevin gets excited about something and screams and then everybody <laughs> so they're not free getting a real radius, experience then well they're getting they're, they're getting a, a polished experience when it comes to the audio I hope Dang. then I want makeup too can you make do it they, sound like I'm from the UK no <laughs> shoot do they have one of those machines portable that I could take with me <laughs> just it's going to be quiet on the way home thank you it? Teresa Corey <laughs> I just want to go over some of the changes we have, uh, we've made to disunplug.com. I know a lot of you are watching it on that site right now. This is the main site for the podcast. Our old page is still live, but we're going to be switching this over. You, in the top navigation is where you're going to find all the links to the Orlando show archives, the, the Disneyland show archives, in addition to the podcast events that we have. Uh, you can subscribe to us on iTunes. On the page is also a, a link to the live stream show. You can listen to us live. Now, for people that went to the site for the blogs, the blogs are still there. We didn't move them. There is a link at the top and bottom of the page for archived blogs. So they're still there. We did not move those. But our new blog is blog.wwinfo.com. If you've followed the 7 and 7, you're familiar with it. There's a lot of great features on there. There's a nice feature box where we'll be featuring the top blogs. How many more times can you say feature? Featured. Feature. feature. We're featuring feature. a lot here, Pete. And we got a feature box where we feature different things <laughs> that we love to feature. Feature, feature. Feature. In our featured presentation, now what we Directed also have, we have, a, um, we have a video <laughs> tab, we have a photos tab. Now when you click on a photo inside of a blog, it opens up into a gallery and you can navigate through there. So there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Did a lot of hard work, Corey, putting that together. Making it was that. a team effort, but it Want was a lot of fun. Want to be freaked out? Someone in the UK is watching us on a 50-inch screen. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want it even more freaked out? Go back to Corey. Check the arrow pointing to his head behind him. Telephone. <laughs> I have a little head Mardi Gras thing right here, too. Actually, you're between two points. Your head looks kind of squeezed. <laughs> it's closed. Just notice that. You look so, good, though. All right. Thank you, Corey. John. <laughs> I like just your soothing like, voice, Teresa. Don't don't worry like people are watching. <laughs> just do it like we're talking to each other. Uh, there's been a major change in the way Disney handles transfers reservations from travel agents to travel agencies. If you've made a reservation directly with Disney for either Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, Adventures by Disney, or Alani, um, you can only transfer it to a travel agent within 30 days of making the original booking. Um, why is this important to people? There's a lot of people out there who like to make their own reservations, tweak them and adjust them, get them just right, and then switch them to a travel agent who either offers uh, some kind of discount or a service. And just so you should be aware that that's gotta be done now within 30 days of making the original reservation. Not the time you pay the deposit, but the time you actually put in and hold the reservation. 
there is a great deal of talk online. People, there's a big thread on it on the Disney Cruise Line board. Some people are finding that um, there's a, a leeway in the policy that some people are allowing to be grandfathered in. Before the policy went into effect, they're getting their reservations transferred. Others aren't in typical Disney fashion. Yeah, and you know what? And let's do this. You know, we're going to change this policy. You know what? Let's wait until there's a seven and a half hour hold to get an agent on the phone with Disney Cruise Line because it's the busiest time of the year. Let's not do this like in December when it's slow. Let's wait to do this in in, in, in the beginning of February. It's just, I love Disney Cruise Line, but sometimes they do stuff like that. It drives me insane. So just be aware of that. And if you want to transfer to a travel agent, just ask them and see what they can do for you. But Did you mention that that's ABD also? Yep, all the, across the board. I really should listen to you. <laughs> Or check your emails. Sometimes he sends out emails. All right. That's it for me. All right. Thank you, John. Dustin. Okay. Yeah. I have uh, uh, Raglan Road has a new brunch that is uh, just starting right now. Uh, it's called Rollicking Raglan Sunday Brunch. And um, <clears throat> it's 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sundays. And uh, they're going to have music. Uh, they're going to have a, a lot of cool brunch dishes, which I never thought I'd say that sentence. Cool brunch dishes. Uh, full Irish breakfast with sausage, black and white pudding, bacon, roasted tomato, mushrooms, fried eggs, potatoes. Um, and so it's all that those kind of Irish breakfast foods. And uh, that's a new feature over at Raglan Road, brunch on Sundays. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Dustin. Sean, you have anything? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Last week there were um, new pictures released of the new um, nude pictures. Paint. Like, yes, no. there was nude yeah. pictures released. <laughs> new of the pictures new of a bus. Um, there's a new paint See scheme the for the Disney buses. Okay, does anybody <laughs> else think this just like looks like Amtrak? I hate it. I, I really think don't. it looks like, like it? Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I, that's what I was thinking. It needs a big shoe. <laughs> it's silver, red, and black, and I just it doesn't look like the old. I mean, Are the old all? buses were, were were nice. I don't know why they changed them. They look like Disney. We Are were just next to like a bus the other day, and we commented it was the old one with sort of that teal color to it, the blue, and and we just we noticed that it was so beautiful, and we thought, why are you changing it? I don't I don't understand this. I I I, I it looks um, like an airport shuttle. It does. It looks so nondescript, and it, I'm hoping I'm hoping that they did them kind of like this because they plan to like wrap them with different like the monorail, right? And maybe that's why I'm hoping that's the reason. You hope they had a whole new paint scheme so they could cover it up with something else? <laughs> well, just that they gave themselves, they just gave themselves a lot of room oh, to wrap. I mean, because they can wrap the windows. They can, they just gave themselves a lot of, a lot more room. Maybe that's for the Tomorrowland thing they'll be doing. <coughs> the the design of the bus is version. actually really nice. The, the bigger windows, I think yeah, that's I mean, been a uh, great The bus itself looks great. It's just the, the red, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. I red? don't like it. Change it. Do it again. <laughs> really start over. So say a thigh. Bring us back something that works. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That Before will... we move on, I told you there was somebody watching, watching us on a 50-inch TV. Uh-huh. There is a store in New Hampshire that sells products, and most of the products in this room have come from a store like that here. And there are, uh, we are now on 20 TVs for the Disney fans in the store. Oh, hi. Oh, you are making this crap up. Really? A 50-inch TV? That's nothing. You're live in a store that rhymes with Maple for about 20 Disney store or 20 Disney addicts. We're live in the store. Hi, Maple. Maple. Well, you, know, you can't get a camera switch to me. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Maple. That was, that was very Red Queen. <laughs> switch to me. Off with their heads. <clears throat> well, okay. they're all scurrying back there because they're trying to get Tom Tom Bell on Skype. Am I, am I right? Yes. All okay. three of them are back there doing that? Yeah, it takes, I, it takes three full-time salaries to get Tom Bell on Skype. Sorry, the internet dropped out for a second. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Ke- Kevin, you uh-huh. didn't mention Splitsville in there, did you? That they offer Tables in Wonderland? Now? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Tables in Wonderland now doing Splitsville. I saw that on your email. I, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Splitsville offers Tables in Wonderland now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do we have Tom Bell on a garbage can yet? <laughs> Almost. Man, oh, I thought that was... Oh, trying to figure it out. A little picture of him. Well, sign. yeah, that's 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 Tom Bell right there. <laughs> on the <laughs> See, they're going to move him down to the little garbage <laughs> he's, he's been decapitated from the chin <laughs> up. Well, I don't think anyone at home can say it. If we can't get him, I'll hold up a little a vinyl mation and we can just talk. <gasps> yeah, get one of the vinyl mations. Which one represents, represents him the best? Hold on. I got one back. You know? Here. <laughs> Coming Disney to you via Skype. Oh, I'm 
Oh, no. Look at all the new stuff. And no cheap product placement on this show. No, not at all. None whatsoever. I'm out of shot. <laughs> and we one, can... one ringy dingy. <laughs> Two ringy dingies. <laughs> you. Is this the person to whom I am speaking? <laughs> Oh, I hear something. Oh, it dropped. Oh, uh, all right. He's he's in he's in Disneyland Park, and they don't have Wi-Fi. He's on cell service, so I'm. I was well thought out. I said. <laughs> okay, you realize the audio is coming through, right? Oh, someone's asking, what are the details about splits film tables in Wonderland? They're taking those, those it. are the details. They're taking it. Those are the yeah. <laughs> that's the that, that's the flash. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I have to get I have to get back over there. But I'd like to go to Splitsville when there's not. People a four and a half hour wait. Go, go on a weekday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or something like yeah. that. Set Friday and Saturday are crazy. We Do haven't bowl? done it yet, but we've talked to people who've done it. You know, I do. Really I, like I used to bowl all the time, and I was actually pretty good at one point. But I haven't done it, and I, you know, I know it's. I'll, I'll like, I'll do it, and they'll be taking me out of there in a stretcher because yeah. like I'll throw my back out or something. Something <laughs> old will happen to me. I put together a piece of furniture over the weekend, and I'm still hurting. <laughs> It's like, what is going on? Did you ever do that? And you like hurt like your muscle, leg, leg muscles yeah. and stuff? Uh-huh. Oh, um, Sean You're and here. I, Sean and I are now sporting. Switch to me. <laughs> God, that? You need a sound effect for that. I really do. Switch to uh, me. Sean and I are now sporting the Nike Fuel Bands. Hmm. Sean has his, Sean? Yeah, we're now bracelet buddies. That's right. Every Can time he smokes a cigarette, he burns calories. Does that work for all of us? Switch to me. Oh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> does it work? I thought those I'm were wearing... the new Lance Armstrong I doped bands or something. <laughs> L- live doped. <laughs> You're in my picture. I know. Uh, <laughs> You're in my shot. <laughs> Can you see me? Oh, oh my lord. Um, this is freakishly doped. weird. So okay, we're uh, I'm being I'm being told by the control booth we have we do not have we do not have Tom Bell uh, coming to us. But uh, poor Dustin, sign? poor Dustin's like losing his bowels right now. He's like, ah, I can't get the bell. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, oh, Sean just moved away a little bit. <laughs> he doesn't want anything on his fuel <laughs> band. Don't get up here. Pick up your coach bag, Sean. <laughs> yeah, really. I uh-huh. like. Is that Dustin's shirt on the wall behind him? What is that? Yes, that's no. his dashiki. Um, no, that's Kathy's. That that's was from her village. That was Kathy's. They traded a Diz Unplugged <laughs> shirt for it. That was Kathy's prom. Uh, Kathy's prom gown. <laughs> If you turn around, it's got her, her number on the back from when she played ball. Oh, Lord. From her field hockey days. And it was just a big rock. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you thought we were going to be different? <laughs> yeah. Was that the screaming? Oh, oh, yeah, that was the screaming. I'm sorry. All right. So um, what we're going to do now, the first show of every month, is we're going to start listing out the top ten threads that were on disboards.com for the previous month. And uh, wh- whoever the, what the top thread was, that person will get, like, as, do we have, have it designed? Yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it? Gonna, we're going to get, like, a cool little thing underneath their, their, uh, their cool screen name. Thing. Icon. A little icon underneath their screen name. or something. Um, oh, I like that. As, as you know, thread of, the, thread of the month. And then at the end of the year... Um, we're going to award a thread of the year uh, award. <laughs> this means you're going to need that person. That person's going to get that person's going to get a five hundred dollar uh, Disney gift card. Well, who started the thread? Oh, that's cool. Right, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Right. So I just you know, just you know something to kind of recognize some of these popular threads because we have we have some good ones. Our number ten this month was the mistake you will not repeat next time. Uh, talking about you know mistakes you made on your trip. That the next time you go, you're not going to make again. Don't take your husband or something. Right, exactly. Okay, cool. And links to all these, by the way, will be on the show notes page, disunplugged.com. Um, number nine, find your 20, uh, 2013 Magic Cruise Meet here on our cruise boards. Uh, there are threads set up to direct you to, because uh, I think for pretty much every sailing that yep. goes out, there's a meet. Uh, there's a group of people on the boards who are on that sailing. A lot of really great friendships get made this way. You want to see how creative Dizzers can be? Take a look at some of the amazing, cool things they create for their fish extenders, for uh, T-shirts, bra- you name it. They create all these their great stuff. We door had um, someone from Dizboards. I think her name was Thrill, Thrill Mom, Thrill Fan, come in to the Welcome Center and stayed. And she had luggage 
piece of luggage full of all the stuff she was giving out to all of the people that were traveling with them. So that's really cool. It was cool. I would just like to mention just quickly that on the Adventures by Disney boards, there are threads for each of the different adventures where people are trading traveling tips and what their plans are and things like that also. So that was our number nine. Uh, Number eight was big announcement coming. And this is somebody speculating that uh, they've heard a major announcement is coming up in the next several weeks. All sorts of speculation going on about what it's going to be. But that was number eight. Robbed at Boardwalk Villas Uh was number seven. So they paid too much for their food. (laughs) Was that RFID tag? (laughs) Uh, number six, terrible Mickey interaction at Animal Kingdom. Ooh. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting that thread. That was about, yeah. That was a very interesting thread. Number five, find your 2013 dream, uh, Disney Dream Cruise Meet over on the cruise board. Number four, stateroom Mickey ears and then some again from the cruise board about things people are doing <coughs> to decorate their... Uh, what, what they do is right. the, 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 the room number is in that... That round circle, thing, right. circle on the door. That I'm round thing. Trouble with my words. <laughs> and they create like all these cool like Mickey ear things, like sort of Mickey hats and all this other stuff that they put over top of it to help decorate their their. Have doors. you ever seen it? Oh yeah, um, it's they're awesome. Great, yeah. They're amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. Every door has one. It's a circle with your stateroom number yeah. in it, and these are magnetic ears and things that they put yeah. around because the doors are metal. Yeah. They put around the circle to turn that into the ubiquitous well, Mickey. Yeah. We'll be talking more about like, that next week. Yes, next I've week. I've seen yeah. goofy ears also. Yeah, goofy ears, all sorts of things. I mean, again, you want to see some amazing creativity that comes out of these boards, stuff like that. Just, I love it. Um, Fast Pass Plus is number three. What we know and what we want to know. A uh, really in-depth thread about everything being speculated about, be, having been announced and confirmed about the new Fast Pass Plus. That's actually going to be the uh, topic of uh, one of our segments next week. Uh, number two, Disney Parks, Disney Time sweepstakes. Any other winners? Every time Disney, Disney runs a contest, a thread shows up on the board. Who won? And invariably, they're a dizzer. <laughs> we have dizzers that have won things, and this is where they. They, uh, they, they go to report that. But the number one thread for January, and I got to tell you, this, this, I think this one goes in the Hall of Fame personally, uh, Disney College Program Frump Style. Um, it's on the Trip Reports board. It's a young lady who has been documenting her experience going into the Disney College Program, and she has got a huge following Really? On the Trip Reports board. Well, she's she's really doing an amazing job writing it to start. But um, uh, very unusual, very, very unusual for a Trip Report to top the uh, uh, the list of, wow. of top threads uh, on the board. This one, by a mile, was the number one. I mean, this is getting a huge amount of page views, this thread. Disney College Program from Style, our winner for January... And, uh, you know, I didn't note this young lady's I documented name. mine with a disposable camera. <laughs> That's all we had. Dustin tried to do... Did you ever develop the film? Dustin tried to do a reality show about his, but... Yes. You documented yours with a wife. <laughs> college program. <laughs> no, that was college. That was 97. Oh. I thought that's where I met Julie. And college in 97? College program. Disney Freak 508. Um, a spring 2013 adventure. And uh, she's actually updated it today. Um, a, a beautiful young lady uh, who's just telling a great story in words and pictures about her experience going into the college program. A lot of people are following it. Switch to my screen for a second. I'm not logged in, so the boards Boy, are showing an ad. Is that retarget marketing at its best? Huh? And it's showing me the microphone. <laughs> That I'm talking into right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Talk about I, scary. Huh? I got to tell you, I didn't expect a lot of this. I just got tweeted a picture of me on a TV in England. <laughs> oh, no. So, wow. congratulations, Miss Disney Freak 508. You are our thread of the month. And uh, for that, you'll get this cool little thing underneath your. Cool oh, my God. Thing. He really did get tweeted. Go to his camera. Oh, it's gone. Cut to Kevin. It's gone, Kevin. Oh, hang on. I can get it back. 
It's gone. How many times I've said that? I can get it back. <laughs> Somebody has tweeted me a picture of me. Oh, it's like Friends on or TV. Big Bang it's or like something. The, I don't know. It's, it's more just... like the cover of an Uncle Ben's rice. <laughs> 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 well, it's the like, definition of infinity. Yeah, you holding it's Uncle you. Ben holding a box of Uncle yeah. Ben, and on the cover of that is a picture of Uncle Ben holding a box of Uncle. Ben. Can I just uh, add something before we leave? Sure. There's that thread about big announcement coming. I don't think this is the big announcement, but we're hearing that the rest of 2014 cruises will be out very soon. Great. We have to talk to Disney about big announcement. I'll be walking in Mardi Gras. It'll, they'll come out, I'm sure. We just, yes. But we have to talk to them about what's a big announcement. What happens is, it's what happened when we stopped doing it. We tell you we're going to make a big announcement, and people start to speculate. And what happens is that speculation gets out of hand. Yeah. I forgot I'm supposed to look at the camera. No, you're not, no, you're not uh, supposed to look at the camera. You're not supposed to look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> What happens like, is you allow only people... Only I look at the camera now. You're, allowed, you're allowing people to speculate, and their speculation is always higher than what anybody can really achieve. So it always seems to be a disappointment. Always. Always. Yeah, I learned that I learned that years ago. So just be on the lookout for 2014 cruises sometime within the next few weeks. Yeah, I think maybe within the next week. Yeah, I agree too. Great. Right. So hopefully we'll have that That's out. my guess. My so. wife just texted me that my kids are watching. Hi, Ferris. Hi, Finley. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, I think Grace is watching too. She stayed home sick today. That's Grace. Oh, stop. <laughs> Hi, Grace. All right. Well, that will do it for our show. For those watching us live right now on disunplug.com, we're going to be back in about 15 minutes with our segment on the 7 and 7, where we covered seven Disney resorts in seven days. Uh, those who are not watching us live, you can watch the show back on demand. Just head out to disunplug.com or visit our YouTube page. We'll be back with you again next time with another edition of the Diz Unplugged. Thanks for being with us, everybody. And remember... Stay out of the damn lakes. Forgot I had to hit the intro button. I had the outro button. Here come the makeup people. Really? Really?